Sean Ivancic here, Maserati Alfa Romeo of St. Petersburg, coming at you with segment number four, the final segment, on this Maserati Ghibli SQ4, finished in the Rosso Energia. We're going to take a look at the standard command system for the Maserati Ghibli. Here we have an 8.4 inch touchscreen controls LCD, beautiful. Uh, it's absolutely so easy to use because right now we're on the main menu. You don't have to have a little knob down here that you turn and twist or dial a pad in. It has everything already displayed on the menu right here. Notice radio, your media player, your controls for your heated seats, climate control, nav, phone. You have more options as well. If we start off with the radio, notice you have all your presets at the top, AM and FM. You can tune it left and right. You can do auto-tune, you can browse it. You could even do your audio settings, your equalizer, your speed adjustment for volume, music info cleanup. Really cool, intuitive. You just move it where you want it to go. Really easy to use. Next, you have your media player. It doesn't have a disc in there, obviously, right now, but you would use this either for your CD or for your Bluetooth audio or for the USB that it has right here. Now, controls for the heated seat. You just press this right here. You have your heated seat on your driver's side, passenger side. You even have a rear sunshade in the back window. So you can hit the rear sunshade. Um, and then you've got your climate control right here. So you can adjust where you want the air to come from. You don't have to use this screen. You do have your controls down here as well, but you do have the capability of using it, you know, taking the temperature, drag it up and down, however you want on either side. It's very hot outside as you can see, so um, you can adjust the fan speed, turn it off completely, turn it on. Uh, it's really, really intuitive and easy to use. Nav, this is so easy. If you notice, it says view map, there's your map. You can zoom in and zoom out. The buttons are right there. You can enter a destination in. You just press nav, where to, put in the address, spell the city, follow the steps. Big, bold letters, easy to read, easy to, to operate. You can even go into your settings for your nav. You can adjust the, the system settings. You can uh, hit the back button right here. You can check out the traffic, language, you can change the language of the car. Uh, we won't do that because uh, I only speak a, one language. So if we go to tools, trip planner, world clock, you have a calculator, data, really cool things that you don't see in any other car. Your phone, you have Bluetooth, you can pair up to, uh, I believe, uh, seven phones on this particular model. Uh, you have your Bluetooth audio as well and your phone book downloads. We have Sirius Travel Link, we have the settings for the car, we can adjust the display, the clock, safety, lights, door locks, and whatnot. So you've got a lot of different intuitive features on the car, and uh, yeah, these are all items that people overlook. They buy the car, they put it in drive and go, get home, put it in a park, and go inside. And that's just a waste of a vehicle because you have so much technology in the car. Now over here, multifunction steering wheel. These controls, for up here if somebody calls you you're gonna press the phone button to answer it if you want to do a voice command you press the picture of the person with the voice if you want to adjust the menus up here in the infotainment system you can press these buttons here vehicle info oil life oil temperature transmission temperature tire pressures distance and then you also have sub menus as well which you use with this so you have your digital speedometer vehicle settings, screen setup, 